This video is on the Rotel S14 integrated network streamer. When Rotel decided that they wanted to build a unit that would deliver all the performance of their integrated amplifiers with the added benefit of streaming music, they took it very seriously. They wanted the technology to mature into a very reliable source of music before they implemented it into their designs. This would ensure that the streaming section of their new device would be just as reliable and sonically pleasing as the rest of Rotel's lineup. Now, Audio Advice has been a Rotel dealer for over 30 years due to them making great products of good sound quality, reliability, and just overall value. And the S14 is a great addition to their lineup. We'll review all the features that this has to offer and help you decide if it's the right one for you. Now, let's get started. When we took the S14 out of the box, we were surprised at just how hefty it is for its form factor. The unit we received was in a black finish and looked really well built. The unit also comes with two different power cables and you get an ethernet cable to connect them to your network. The final item out of the box was the remote, which we do have to give a special shout out to Rotel for. This remote is absolutely fitting for a component of this level with its aluminum housing and clearly labeled buttons. It's by no means one of those normal generic plastic remotes that you see with a lot of gear today. Good job, Rotel. The Rotel S14 is an exercise in simplicity. The front panel is well laid out and very simple. On the left is a power button. Next to the power button is a 3.5 millimeter headphone output. There are separate buttons on the front panel for each input, so selecting your desired input is super easy. The 2 inch by 3 inch non-touch LCD allows you to review the menu options and shows the current music that's streaming. There is a menu and plus and minus buttons to navigate the settings and a simple volume knob. Now we think Rotel made the right decision in making the front panel very easy and simple to use, yet super effective. We see too many of these all-in-one streaming amplifiers with either overly cluttered front panels or a bare front panel that makes you go on a mission through the remote menus just to change your settings. Now Rotel was able to keep the front panel clean, but effective and super simple to use. In the many ways that people enjoy music in today's world, building a true all-in-one Just Add Speakers product is sort of a daunting task and getting it right is even more difficult. The music loving community is made up of people of all walks of life. From people who are frequent with technology and know how to work almost any device that you put in their hand, all the way to people that want absolutely nothing to do with complex technology. Now we happen to be technically proficient in this stuff, but even us, we were super surprised at how easy it was to get this thing up and running. We simply plugged in the power cable, hooked up the ethernet cable to our router, and after about a five minute update, we were able to connect to our Google Home app on our Android or Apple device, and we were up and running. Now, if you are only able to use the S14 on a wireless network, you will have to go through the menu and connect it to your network and enter in your credentials. Cobas, Tidal, Spotify, and any other major streaming service is easy as we just simply chose the S14 as our output and the music streamed right to it flawlessly. Rotel does make its own app to control the S14, but we weren't able to actually test that feature because the app was going through updates at the time of this review. We were able to connect the S14 to our PC via USB to use its internal DAC to play music right from our computer. And after simply installing the Windows update from the included Rotel flash drive, we were able to just stream the music directly to it. Now the S14 is also Rune ready, so Rune users are covered here as well. The technology behind the S14 is a combination of leading edge streaming technology and tried and true amplifier technology. Now Rotel designed and built all of the S14 themselves, only getting their streaming system from an outside source, but they were meticulous in finding streaming components worthy of the S14 to have the reliability that Rotel is known for. The DAC inside the S14 is an ESS Sabre 32-bit chip, but Rotel doesn't actually tell us what model that chip is, but you can be assured that any ESS chip made within about the last five years has much better distortion and noise numbers than the, most of the components that are actually used to record music in the studio or at a live event. Now this DAC can handle 24-bit, 192 kilohertz from a USB Type-A flash drive, coaxial or Antoslic connections. The Type-B USB computer input can handle 32-bit, 384 kilohertz. MQA and MQA studio files are also supported. Now it does not say DSD audio is supported in the specs, and that is what we found when we tried to play it right from our PC. An Aptex HD Bluetooth receiver is included that supports 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, and streaming any of your streaming services via the Rotel app 
or the streaming services app directly will support this high-res audio. We know that digital audio can get super confusing with all the different rates and sampling frequencies, but if you have any compatibility questions about the S14, our knowledgeable team here at Audio Advice can help answer your questions. Just reach out or give us a call at audioadvice.com. Rotel chose to utilize a Class AB amplifier in this design, and we feel like it was a really good choice. The S14's amplifier section is almost identical to their A14 Mark II integrated amp, which is a tried and true design. They use a Rotel built toroidal transformer and stiffening capacitors. They're rated at 80 watts per channel at 8 ohms and 150 watts per channel at 4 ohms. This unit will power most of the speakers likely to be paired with it with ample headroom. Knowing that Rotel builds a lot of the internal parts themselves is actually really reassuring to us. Many streamer and amplifier manufacturers out there are just putting off the shelf Class D modules in their products without any thought to the design and it generally ends up showing in the performance. There are good Class D amplifiers out there, but they must be designed meticulously in order for them to compete with traditional Class A or AB designs. This is the part of the review where the rubber meets the road. For this review, we used the S14 connected via Ethernet cable to our router and streamed music using our Android device since we feel like that is the most likely way that it will be used. We also used the Wi-Fi option and we didn't notice much, if any, decrease in sound quality. And then we also did connect it to the Bluetooth receiver of the S14 and it did sound good, but understandably, not as good as the hardwired connection. And this is to be expected with Bluetooth limitations, but it would probably be just fine for casual listening. Now we had the S14 connected to a pair of Macintosh XR50 stand mount loudspeakers. These speakers spec at a sensitivity of 81 dB, which can be a difficult load to drive, and the fact that this is an 8 ohm speaker means it's getting the lower 80 watt per channel power from this amplifier. Now we would not dare pair the speaker with an AV receiver or a cheaper integrated, as it would not have the headroom to power them. The S14 has a larger transformer and stiffening capacitors not found in those lesser units, which means it has quite a bit of headroom to spare. Listening to the 2014 album Live at HQ Los Angeles by Legacy Recordings allows us to see how the S14 handles a live recording that has good dynamics and drive. Playing one of our favorite songs off this album, Love Hurts, we were able to drive the XR50s to around 83 dB, and Rotel S14 kept its composure. This is impressive knowing that the low sensitivity of these speakers and only when we pushed the amplifier above this level did we start to hear the strain in the highs and the soundstage started to collapse a bit. At normal listening levels, the soundstage was plenty wide and imaging was just pinpoint. But this recording is a 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz live recording. Now, an album that we use quite frequently for our other reviews is the 2000 album Sarah Kay, What Matters. This whole album is great for testing soundstage, instrument placement, pace, rhythm, and image depth. The soundstage was wide, imaging was just locked in, and there was a drive to the music. The S14 may not be the last word in pace and rhythm, with an image depth not quite what you'll get with good separate components, or even a higher end integrated amplifier, but for an all-in-one device, it does really well. We have heard many DAC designs over the years, and Rotel did a great job implementing the internal DAC into this S14. We've also heard many integrated DACs and amplifiers that just fall short sonically. While the S14 will not compete with a true high-end standalone DAC in micro detail, transparency, image depth, or soundstage width, it serves the music really well here. After spending time with the Rotel S14 and putting it through its paces, we have to say that we're thoroughly impressed. With its many connection options, be it USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wired network, integrated streaming and analog input, for an analog component like a phono preamp, the S14 has you covered. It has a well-built Class AB power section with good sonics and ample headroom. Being an all-in-one package, the S14 is not going to give you the performance of a hand-chosen separate component system, but what it does give you is a taste of the high-end audio in a package that is both affordable, reliable, and easy to set up and operate, all while being in a really small form factor. If you are a music lover looking to start your audiophile journey, need something simple for a second system, or don't want the fuss of separate components with all the wires and headache, we wholeheartedly recommend the Rotel S14. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. Now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.